Hi. Hello everyone, Leonel Mahi, one more day for teaching you guys position of the week. I have here a high level athlete, Gabriel Cardoso, and he start to show you guys a couple of his tricks on, on Lasso here. I teach in Lasso in the other opportunities here. He show you guys a couple of tricks about the triangle and omoplata with Lasso. And in sequence this, I teach you guys one more option to sweep and one more option when the guy pass collapse your knee and you have a side control escape with last two, okay? All right, guys, we're gonna start with the tornado triangle, okay? So I'm gonna start my lasso, boom, put your lasso right here, my hook active right there on his shoulder blade. When he starts to walk to my side to pass my guard, I'm just gonna spin under his body and lift my hip high enough to reach my triangle right there. Boom. In this situation. In this situation, I hit so common that he start posture up, okay? So I'm gonna keep my pressure on his neck and hold my shin like this. One, two. Now, just squeeze. One more time. One, he's gonna start passing my guard, look. One, is spin. Lift your hip high enough to reach his head right there. Now, when I reach his head, I'm gonna cross his arm to block his arm inside my triangle, okay? Hold my shin, close my triangle. Remember, never keep flat like this. Always keep your hip outside to you have a better triangle, okay? Second situation, I'm gonna stop under him. So, keep my lasso. Boom, he's gonna start to walk. Look, one, two. Stop, lift your hip. Now I'm gonna bend my leg and close my triangle to get the omoplata. Boom. So in this situation, I have in this position, I have two, two situations. First situation, when I bend my leg really strong, he go away. I'm just gonna look in for his leg just so he doesn't keep a row right there. Boom, hold, straight my legs. Side control, two points. Second situation is when he stay right there and I'm gonna keep on my, my omoplata. So one, two, spin, one, close, put pressure, hold his belt till he does a row, feet together, he's straight. My goal when I straight my legs, touch his shoulder on the ground. Keep hold or hug, hip out as position and lift your hip. Okay. okay. Third situation with Professor Lee right now. So guys, in the third situation here, in the same way, I start to have him here and I put lasso. I like to think about for making my active knee strong in this way, I like to think about my toes touch his shoulder. Whenever this for I pivot, I prefer to put my foot here to start this movement and I provoke him go. When he go here, I put my both knee under him and I project my both knee straight for the arm stump that I have to make him roll. Brown and black belts start to come with the biceps lies here. Purple belts and down, straight the both legs and start to come on side control or knee on belly. So, same way. The problem with the, some guys here start to put the knee Deep here, the guy start to swallow the knee and start to pass. So come back. Keep your knee active here and start to provoke him. And you enter under and flip him. Legs and pass. For the fourth situation is when you start to put side control and the guy pass lower and enjoy the opposite side to the lasso for pass my guard. So it doesn't matter if you the lasso position or no, like this, he can lower and pass. Three seconds here is three points from pass the guard. When my knee is in, it's not three points, but I stay stuck. And the other option, he collapse me here and stay. When he pass here, doesn't matter if lasso or no, 
that point here's three points so you put your arm inside i like to put the hand on myself on my own leg here here or i grab his pants or his ankle doesn't matter but i hit him with my both knees and i do not come back i hit him now my legs go sideways and sit up like a rock chair and come here. Doesn't matter how heavy that guy are, I do this so if that guy is. Doesn't matter how heavy that guy is, you still flip him. So you put here and you have a deep lasso. The guy coming here, you hit him with the knee. Hit him sideways. Move. Now he's close to pass my guard. I start to fix my position to make or vantage or some points. So when I go in this way, I start to set up for coming here. And I crunch my body here the maximum as I can. If I stay a couple seconds here, three seconds is a two point from Neon Belly. If you're the guy escape here before then three seconds is at least vantage by uh, Neon Belly. If the guy reach three points, you need points. If you guys need advantage and you reach advantage here too, keep going, keep fight. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much.